I normally no longer make yak track guides, although this is the exception because when you complete the first 15, you will get a golden party hat shard. And I will be doing this as a member. You could possibly do it in free to play, but I do not want to make another account and then see which 15 tasks those are. And this will be the most efficient way to get to the 15 task with using only two skips. Keep in mind, you can use bonds, but I will not be doing that as that will not be realistic to be spending for bonds to get to where, uh, yak track number 15. And then for here, you can teleport to Birthorb and then run south. For here, you will see the Queen of Snow. Speak to her and she'll give you the yak track list. But more importantly, you'll want to talk to her about option two. And she'll tell you that it's basically about the land of snows and there is a secret Santa, a Sir Desmond Wellington. The KBE is here about. So with that, as soon as you walk away from her, that would be task number one completed. And in case you ever forget which task you're on, you can click upgrades and extras, which is also the same interface as the treasure hunter and bonds and stuff. So you want to go events, wind timber, Aurora. And then for me right now, I'm on task 11, but it says I have room crafting or divination. Now that we did task one, task number two would have to be dungeoneering or skill and chill. For the skill and chill, you get one point every five minutes and you need a total of 20 points. For this, if this is a fresh account, you want to actually skip this one or you can do the skill and chill and just wait and train whatever skill you want. However, if you're like a main account, or you don't want to use a skip, you can do dungeoneering, which this will probably take like 20 minutes max, maybe even 10 minutes. So that task is very, very quick. The next task will be task three, which will be mining or fishing. There's a couple ways you can do this, and that is by teleporting to Menafos, heading to the VIP district, and then just catch the catfish, Peltfish, and I forgot the last one, but you want to do that, and you can do this at the port district or in the VIP area, although you will need that reputation for it. And then if you are a, a fresh account, you could teleport to Edgeville, run south, and then catch the trout and salmon there. And then this is pretty much it. You'll need about, uh, I believe, like 40 or 50 fish. And then, of course, if you don't want to train fishing, you can do mining at the Barbarian Village, which is pretty much south of Edgeville. And there is coal. And south in the building, there is a furnace where you can just put all your ore in and then continue mining. Mining is probably the quickest way to do this. Although if your fishing level is high enough, you could just AFK this if mining is too much paying attention for you. For the fourth one, depending on how you did Yak Track number three, it is, uh, it is cooking. In which case you just cook all the fish that you did previously get. Or you can just buy it from the Grand Exchange unless you're an Iron Man where you have to do fishing for number three to do number four so it's kind of together which i do like now number five would have to be smithing and remember the best spot to do smithing would be in falador and this kind of depends on your smithing level because you need to make plate bodies and this is because it gives the highest smithing experience per plate body and it does depend on your skill level, so you won't need to get like 200,000 smithing experience if you're level 20 or 50 smithing. So that's also pretty good. It does scale. And then remember, from Falador, you want to run south east all the way till you get to the Artism Metal Workshop. 
for here. Smith the anvil. And then I will be doing an elder room plate body plus one. Well, you could do plus one. Or you could just burial it. Burying it destroys the item instantly. Well, not instantly, but it destroys it. And then it takes probably about a minute. And then you'll get the full experience for it. Which that is the quickest way to get it. So, you could buy the outer room plate body plus five if you're a main account. Burial it. And you might need three or four. So that task would be like four or five minutes tops. And then that's about it. And then if you are just normal smithing, the little orange bar on your screen, once you get half, halfway, you want to click on the forge to fill up the orange bar again. Now for Yak track number six, this is kind of depends if you are, are a skiller, and that would be earn marks of war or skill and chill. For this, if you aren't a skiller, you can do any boss you want. And for me, I did Arc Glacier with just one mechanic. And I mean, it's pretty much, I don't, I don't want to say AF Cable, because it kind of depends if you're using 70 plus weapons. If you're using like Dragon, it might not be efficient to be doing that. So in your case, you could be doing Skill Intro, which again, skillers will have to do this, or since you do have two skips, you can use one of your skips for this, meaning you will not have to skip task number two, which is just Dungeoneering, which level threes could kind of leech off of that. And for number six, the skill and chill, instead of 20 points, it's, I believe, 25 now. For task number seven, it will be the secret Santa donation. For here, just teleport to Berthorb. And this one is so easy. Now, I'm not sure if it says you have to donate 10,000 GP worth of items or 100,000. Uh, let me double check to see what it does say. Let me see, that was 7. Okay, well, I can't view it, but just donate whatever amount it was to the NPC. And then I did do a previous guide on kind of how to cheat your way. And this is mostly for Iron Hardcore players. Because donating 100k can be an issue. So you want to buy a cider, which does require the Royal Trouble quest. And you can buy it from the pub for 2 coins. But on GE, it's worth four, It's worth 13,000 coins. So, go to the birth door, and then by the Queen of Snow, you'll see Sir Denzel Washington. Right-click Donate. And you can give him the cider, and then that's it. Now, remember, you do have to pay attention. I think it's Donate 10k worth of stuff, or 100k, so you just need to double-check. And then that's about it. I mean, it's super quick. As for task 8, you will want to do farming. And the best way to do that is just pretty much any type of herbs, allotment, hot patches. And then make sure you do get your juju farming potion with some herb seeds. And just teleport to all the areas. For this... You will need to have pre-planted all of your patches so stuff is filled. And in my case, I already have sweet corn. So you can just harvest it. And if that's not enough, there is another one. Although in my case, it did die. So if just before starting the 15 yak task efficiently, you might need to wait, I want to say 20 minutes because you can plant limp or roots in the center area and then you just have to wait for it to grow so that's like the only time locked requirement because you just have to pre-plant everything beforehand now for task number nine this one i kind of like it honestly 
it was either Herblor, which if you're a main account, you can just buy that so it doesn't matter, or Skill and Chill. The best way would have to be Herblor, even if you're an Iron Man, because you could probably get some quick herbs quickly enough that is faster than the Skill and Chill. Next up will be number 10, and this is Slayer, Skill and Chill. And then if you are doing this correctly, again, on a fresh account, you want to skip numbers 6 and 10. Those are your two free skips you'll be using. If you're a skiller, though, you can skip number 2 and 10. And now, for task number 3, which luckily I am on, is divination and room crafting. For this... The best and quickest way would have to be divination. So let's go to the bank, get our elder divination outfit. Let's see, go to Diango. And you may not have this, again, if you are like a fresh account. And depending on your divination level, you can go to whatever colony. In my case, since I am 99, I'll be going to the Incandescent Wisp. Right here. You just harvest the springs and then, I mean, that's about it. You're pretty much AFK it. The task is dependent on the amount of incandescent energy you get. It's not the memories, it's the energy. So in that case, you want to d convert all of your memories at the Rift for energy. And... Well, if you are high enough, which is 95, Divination, you can actually do this in World 79, as there will always be an Enriched Spring active, which means you won't be getting the little baby energies as much. I think it's like a 90% like chance or something that you'll be getting Enriched instead. And then once your inventory is full, you just deposit and in my case, it instantly deposited because I do have the 98th Archaeology Relic. If you do not, well, you'll just need to wait about 30 seconds or so for your player to manually do it, although it's AFK. And if it is a new account, you may need to right-click the Rift, configure, and then choose the very left one, which is just the little purple energy icon. And then you're free to go and then just click on the rift again and everything from then on will be converted into energy. This one, I want to say probably takes about 10 minutes max. It could take even less depending if you're using like chins to get enriched versions or the world 79 method. And if you do not have 95 divination, it may take you a little longer because the lower level... Divination Spots has a less chance of getting Enriched Energy, which I believe gives you 5 at once. So, I mean, it's kind of pretty good. Now, once you did that, the Yak Track number 12 is Fishing. And again, since I already shown earlier how to do Fishing, it's just at the Menophos for the three types of fish in the VIP area. Or... You can always go to Barbarian Village and fish the Salmon and Trout. <clears throat> Number 13 is kind of an issue if you are a skiller because you'll need to use a skip on that. Which kind of means you need to buy a bond for that because you want to skip numbers 6 and 10 which both involve combat. And then luckily if you're not a skiller it's just berry, 550 bones slash ashes, depending on your prayer level. So sometimes you might need to bury like, I don't know, 200, 300. And there's actually a good method to do this very quickly. Let me see. So with that, well, if you're a main account, you can buy... Uh, Let's say your thing is like 200, so you want to buy 100 Big Bones and 100 Inferno Ashes. For here, you want to add them to Action Bar, 
and then you want to scatter the ashes and bury the big bones at the same time. When you do this, you'll be burying two bones, well, you'll be doing two actions per tick. And then, I mean, that's it. It's extremely quick. You can do it on your action bar and then just hold the two buttons on your... What is that? Okay, well, you can hold two buttons on your keyboard down and you'll automatically do that. So just get 14 big bones and then 14 infernal ashes or whatever type of items you do have. And again, if you're a skiller, you can't really do this, so that might be an issue. Next up will be task number 14, and this is a very easy one as well. Let me see. It's right here. Here we go. It will be the secret Santa claim and thieving. Depending if it's been two hours or not, or if you had to like go to sleep and stuff, you might not be able to do task A, which is just to claim the item from the bear that you do deposit that 100k or 200k from task number seven. So in that case, you may need to do thieving, which is just safe cracking. So that that will probably take like 20 minutes or 30 minutes. As for number 15, this is the very final one. This is either combat with Marks of War, which again, you can do one mechanic arc glacier or crafting. If you're a main account, you could do like Armador or something. But now if you're a skiller, you will need to do the crafting portion of that. And when you do complete number 15, you will get the gold... The golden party hat shard so in all together this should probably take you about an hour or so depending on the methods you do and then for like cooking that might take you a little longer because it you have to do 500 fish to cook but you can easily do it in about two hours and with that thank you all so much for watching this guide on how to obtain all 15 yak tracks within probably two hours for the golden party hat as a member that thank you all so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day